Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to use case statement in box SQL. So in this for this tutorial, I am going to use this class dataset which you see right here. And this is in SAS help library. So let's open the dataset and see what it has. So it has uh, five columns and uh, we have age here height weight and sex name so what we are going to do is if the age is below 13 uh, we can create a new variable named as junior and if the variable is above 13 we can name it as senior so if you think it as a data step it is nothing but an if else statement but to do it in uh, prop sql we will be using case statement So for any proxy call, we will start with the proxy call. Create table. This is uh, very similar to SQL statement, and we will give the table name now. Mm, let's call it senior. As and then select. In my output I am going to have only name and the seniority so for that I need to create a new variable which will be done by case statement case for the case we will use when keyword so when the age is less than 13 then add the value was junior so same thing And the age is greater than equal to 13 then senior else so let's say if our data set has some missing value in that case this will handle this handle those missing value if you don't give the else statement then the output will be the missing value again and then uh, you should not forget to run this right this keyword end now after end we need to name this variable i will make it as seniority So we have now done with our variables. So you should always remember that in select statement we will give uh, what are the columns we need to display in the output. So here I am going to display only name and seniority. For seniority I have process using this case statement. So it will come uh, aside of the select statement. And then finally we will give the table name from which table I want to uh, process this data. So this will be sas help dot class. So only thing you will miss here is the end. You may forget to write the end statement. And another thing is this variable name. You should give after the end. So that's it. Uh, the finally we will give quit statement. And that's all done. So it's created. So no errors found. Let's go and check the work library. So I created the table name as senior. So we can see it here. You open it, you will find. So with, whenever there is age less than 13, it will be junior. 
and it will be senior and whenever the age greater than 13 it will be senior since there are no missing value we don't have any value as none which we have handled using else statement thank you guys thank you for watching this